Hey guys, it's Sean. And I'm Jason. And together we are Horn Bearded Brothers. Yay. So before we do anything, first, scold. Scold. Okay. Because you promised. So uh, this is actually freehand artwork by my daughter. Uh, yes, she is talented. It runs in the family. Her mother is actually a very good artist too when she has the time, which she hasn't had very much of lately. And uh, she wanted to add to the wall, so she asked mom, she asked Jason, and we said, oh, that was cool. Yeah, and by the way, you're talented too. In different ways. Not gonna go there. <laughs> anyway, so moving on. So ladies and gentlemen, today we have Honest Amish. Yes, this is brought to you by the fine people of Pennsylvania. Yep, so now the one thing is we cannot find the official release so honest amish if you're watching this please let us know so we can be accurate yeah. from what our research is is they did say this is one of the oldest beard oil bomb companies around and i will say before i had a full-on beard and i actually used product i've seen this quite honestly around for quite some time yeah as far as we can tell it goes back at least to like the 70s i think is what yeah what we've been we, able to find but we're not 100 percent sure yeah. on that so please keep that in mind so let's go ahead and dive on in okay. so now remember bombs and oils butters and waxes Prices always differ, so please keep that in mind. This was purchased off of Amazon, not their website. So their website, depending on which oil you actually get, let me pull up the oils here. Now the surprising thing is they actually only have three oils. So it's kind of like, bam. Yeah, so really what we've kind of found is that they've, they don't do a lot of sense, like Jason said. They've what they've done is they've honed their skills and they've perfected what they do do. Yeah. So now actually, surprisingly, I just found out it actually, I just found it. Uh, they first released their beard bomb online in 2012. That's online. So yeah. just a little hint there. So I do apologize. Hold, let me get back on topic here. So their classic and their pure are about $13 and some change. Now their premium, which is their top of the line, is $19.77. When we purchased this, the oil online, it was $12.22. Please keep that in mind, we purchased it off of Amazon. Just a disclaimer. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the package. And I will say the one good thing is, is that when you open the packaging, if you are allergic, it tells you right on the flap of the package, allergy warning, This product contains fruit and nut oils so if you have one of those things going on you know right away if you buy this by mistake that oh hey this isn't for me which is very cool that they do it and there is a uh see before the 60s and 70s yep so there we go so, so they've been around so we're gonna pull this out of here and it is nice and dark and it is on the heavy side. I, at least yes. that's what I thought. What did you think, Jason? So now the first thing is we always like to say this is a two-ouncer. It looks bigger than normal. And I think the reason why is because we're not used to the darkened vial glass. We're used to a bright or a see-through. Yeah. So now the one thing, too, is that I liked is Oh, this, yeah. The, yeah, you know where I'm going. Yeah. This is not the typical short and wide it's tall and skinny so the actual vial is pretty long man this is actually this is the thing i one of the things i really like about this dropper is that you're going to be able to get all the way down to the bottom to those little little bits i was thinking the same thing so now the one thing too that i found was really cool is all oils need something to make them stand out. So the one interesting thing with the Honest Amish is they use pumpkin seed. We have not had that. We've had avocado, we've had mango, we've had jabra, we've had hemp oil, you, you we've, we've had a different kind. So And so what is that, st I mean, in this particular instance, why does that stand out? Or what did you think that made it stand out? So when I actually use the oil, moving down our cheat sheet here, it reminded me of a pumpkin spice like a and we're not talking like starbucks and i have the vintage <laughs> pumpkin spice shot of espresso no we're talking like you just went to your grandma's house in the middle of nowhere 
the dirt road is two miles long to get to the front door and she just baked a brand new fresh out of the oven pumpkin spice pie right yeah that's exactly what we got going for it and it's like we said they've this is what they've perfected they've taken their one thing that they do and they've just expanded upon it and yeah that's what they do like you said they have i we don't usually use this word freely but they have perfected it yep. And that it's hard to do. Instead of having, you know, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, instead of having all these different, they've kept with what they know. Yes, exactly. And merged with it. So, so as far as application use, what did you really think about the oil itself? So when you put the oil in your hand, it is super thick. Yes. And we're talking like you. But I will say, even though it's thick, it isn't one of those ones where you put it on, you're like, I still have half of it on Spider my hand. Spider man, yeah. Spider no. Exactly. No. Now, even though it's a thick oil, once you apply it to your skin, to your overall facial hair, it is just on it goes. Yeah. It will, it, it's gonna be on your hands, so please keep that in mind, but it acts like it's off your hands. Like your beard sucks it up like an energy drink to me. <laughs> yes, I drink those, just clarify. You do too. Anyway. Yes, I do. So it is a very dark oil too. It is a thick, dark oil. Which in itself is unique because you don't really yes. see that. So whatever they're doing, it's they've crafted that in a way that you get a, a nice dark oil, which is, it's kind of different. It's kind of nice to see something a little bit different than- Unique. Yes. You know, than your normal, you know, golden color oils. Yeah, here's what you're trying to say. Here's, here you go, ready? Unique. Anyways, moving on. Unique okay. New York? Totally. <laughs> so I'm gonna open up the beard balm here. And so this is their regular uh, balm. This isn't, they do have, I believe, a heavy duty, it yes. looks like, as well. They, they do. They have a couple different balms. They actually have a leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. This is their, they have a pure, they have a heavy duty, they have a, let me see here, there's a lot actually, to be honest. Now this is just their original or their classic, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just on a Stylish Beard Balm. So yeah. I think this is just their, their old school, original formula. Correct. So of course, we bought it off of Amazon. It was $11.43. On their website, it ranges anywhere from $12.87 all the way up to $22.77, depending on which one you buy. Please keep that in mind. So Jason, when Jason's talking about the higher end, that is for almost their double the size, their four ounce. So this is uh, their two ounce, which is in the lower end that Jason was talking about. So you guys can see that is, like we always say, this is, well, mostly always say. This is uh, two weeks worth of use, one by Jason, one by myself. So that's what we've used, guys. And it's still quite a bit in there. I mean, I would say that lasts you easily a month, month and a half. Correct. And so what is it that we liked about this balm? So the interesting thing about the balm, ladies and gentlemen, is it's, it didn't remind me of a balm. It reminded me of a hydration butter. Yes. You know, it's you put it in your hand and you're like, this this isn't going to hold. This is an, ooh. You start, you start putting it in, combing it down, and it does great. It, it, it hydrates. It is very smooth to work in. It applies easily, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to put it in like a wax. And it, even though, I, I still say, even with the oil and the balm, I still get the pumpkin spice, the fresh pumpkin spice pie. And it's not overpowering, but it is, it is a great scent. It, it's going to last you throughout the day. I don't think we had any issues as far as uh, longevity as far as the scent going, I think it lasted us, right? I mean, that's that's what I got from it. I would assume Oh, no, it, it's, I yeah. agree, it lasted. It was one of those, and the thing is too, it wasn't like, BAM! It was like, how you doing? Yeah. It was there, you knew it was there, but it wasn't like, somebody would go up and go, oh, dude, eh. they'd be like, <laughs> did you change colognes? <laughs> like, it's one of those, so. Do you have pie? Do, I do, it's called, no. uh, there you go. So, can they be used together 100% yes. And honestly, if you didn't want to use them together, you can use them separate. Yeah. You're gonna get the same reaction, which is awesome, by the way. Yeah, I would totally agree. Like, let's say you only had time to do, you were in a hurry. 
you had the bomb, you threw the bomb in, you'd be totally good. And I actually, guys, Jason and I have talked about this before. Sometimes it, there's days that we don't want to put product in the hair, so we'll take the leftovers and just run it through oh, yeah. the hair. And the eyebrows. And the eyebrows. And, and the, the uh... yeah, yeah. Well, mine doesn't do that. Mine's like this. I got the sand <laughs> Elliot going. <laughs> so, and it actually works as a, well, I'm not going to say it is, but it almost works as a light palmate as well. I would agree. So the good thing is, like we mentioned, it is made in United States and Pennsylvania, but yes. like we said, ladies and gentlemen, in all of our videos, it doesn't matter where it's made. It can be made in Hong Kong, Spain, uh, Holland, Germany, Portugal. Russia, Portugal, the, the list goes on yeah. as long as it is a good product. Yes. That is what matters. <laughs> so what are your overall thoughts? I, I really, really like this product. I thought it was really good. I mean, for a company that's only doing one cent, or, you know, we've tried one cent, and that's what they do. I thought they, for me, I, I really liked it. But Jason, I'm gonna let you give the score on this, and what did you think? So, I, I agree. For a company that has, that keeps it basic. Yes. You know, like I said, they only really have three oils. I'm kind of intrigued to try their premium. Yeah. So that's something a little different. Their premium actually uses more. And I will more. say the good thing about their premium, their premium is 22 bucks. And there's other companies that we will not name in this video, but their regular oil is 35 to 40 to 50 in one instance. Yeah. So if this is their premium and it's only 22 bucks, that's pretty outstanding. Yeah. And the, so overall talking, it's, it's a good solid product. I'm happy you brought it up because our notes actually say the beard balm can be used as a light pomade. Yeah. So light pomade works for him, not so much for me. <laughs> uh, but I still enjoy it. The scent does last pretty good. Yes, it, it, yeah. It's definitely one of those apply in the morning and you're, it's going to last yeah. a good portion of the day. I have to admit that. So what are your feelings? What, do you, what score do you want to give these guys? Well, based off the unique pumpkin spice fresh yes. pumpkin spice pie the simplicity of it the basic which is kind of weird because we usually like you know a hundred different flavors <laughs> you know but i'm gonna honestly say i want to give honest uh, uh, amish a 10 dude yes. i think they have a product they've been around for years they're still going strong i looked at some of the stock market and their revenue they're doing good and like Jason said, we don't normally throw around the word perfection. And it, nothing is perfect, but they've perfected their craft at what they do. And what they do is they do it well. Correct. So, Honest Amish, if you're watching, I'll let him hold I'll, it up. I'll do I'm it this time. I'm not going to hold it again. You hold it. Yay. So, Yay. Really? So, if you're watching, please send us a sticker. We want to put your logo up on our wall. Please do. I might email you. But on that <laughs> note, uh, so this is Jason. This is Sean. It's and Hornbitter Brothers. And? We help it grow. Salute. I'm going to take my time and just have you mm -hmm. paint. Mm -hmm. Score. <laughs>